Everyone say cheese. The first episode of 2024 and why not jump into what I believe is going to be one of the best Lego values of the year. My name's Luigi and this is The Brick Connection. The 3-in-1 Retro Camera. Now this set was released January 1st, 2024. The set costed me $24.99 Canadian, has 261 pieces, no minifigs, 6 stickers, and is rated for ages 8 and up. Now, this being a 3-in-1 set, there are obviously 3 sets to choose from. Today, I'm going to be focusing on the main build, which is the retro camera. But don't worry, I will show you what the other 2 builds look like completed. But that's enough talking, let's get building. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall The Lego Retro Camera. The attention to detail on this set, especially at that $24.99 price tag, is honestly amazing. Obviously, the set is supposed to resemble a vintage camera, and Lego really could have taken the easy way out, but they didn't. What you would expect to find on a vintage film camera, you are going to find here. A hot shoe, a rewind lever, viewfinder, shutter, film advance lever, shutter speed dial, wrist strap, and so much more. And that's even before we get into the fact that this camera has a working film door with film ready to be loaded inside. Now, my eagle-eyed viewers are going to recognize a lot of these photos because these are pictures from other 3-in-1 sets. Like I said, the attention to detail on this set is next level. LEGO recently released the Polaroid 1 step, which to me is funny to have two LEGO cameras competing against each other. Now, obviously, they are different cameras at different price points. The Polaroid retails for $99 Canadian, and I hope to add the Polaroid to my collection at some point. But if you are a film, photography, or camera enthusiast more so than a LEGO fan, and you needed to pick one and didn't want to break the bank, then the 3-in-1 is definitely the way to go in my opinion. Now, like I said, this being a 3-in-1 set, there are two alternative builds. The TV, which I do like, although it's not great, and the camcorder, which out of the three really is my least favorite. Look, if you are buying this set, you are buying it for the main attraction, the retro camera. Now, if you enjoyed this video, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. Make sure to stay tuned because I have a lot more fun sets coming. Until next time, my name's Luigi and this is The Brick Connection.